Hi everybody, it's that time again where I get to reveal the contents of the next Papercraft Society box. This one's been designed by Sam Calcott, so it's very much got a made to surprise feel about it. And it's winter, Christmas, it's penguins and polar bears. You're going to absolutely love it. Um, there's lots of benefits to becoming a Papercraft Society subscriber, which I'll go through at the end. So stay tuned for that because we've got some extras that you may not have heard about before. But first things first, come on down to my desk and let's take a look at the contents. So not only does the box, of course, match my mat really well, we can see some of the fun little characters that we've got on here and the foiling on the box. I know lots of people like to actually keep the boxes themselves because they're so sturdy and such a good size. They're actually just almost the depth of a distress ink pad or a distress oxide which is really handy for making storage out of as well just a little tip from me there um okay so this is a little quote from sam first of all a skiing penguin parachuting snowman and a santa flying his plane you heard me right this is a funny box of treats enjoy and that's from sam uh now sam will of course do her own unboxing as well um but i i can't i can't hand the reins over i just love to do them myself so i like to delve in and have a look i've not been through this at all yet i've heard sam talk about it we've had chats about it but i've not actually seen anything because i like to get the excitement across to you during these videos so the first thing is the wallet of course now um who said santa only had a sleigh mm. uh, forget traditional let's have some fun and uh, watch them spin and make you smile oh watch them spin i wonder what that's about we will find out i'm sure now where do we start because i can see we've got stencil stamps dies and papers in here um I think we'll start, we'll start at the end. We'll start with the stamps first of all. Now usually we have a white back to the papers kind of, yeah. Uh, so we can really see the stamps in detail. Uh, we have got some foliage, Christmas foliage. We really do have parachuting snowmen, skiing penguins, Santa in an airplane. There we go. So who said Santa only had a sleigh? That's because he's got an airplane as well. We've got angels singing. We've got the little elf, but in a tree, Christmas tree dress. We've got like a Rudolph or reindeer with baubles in his antlers. And then we've got some really fun sentiments as well. So sprinkling a little magic. I'm back. <laughs> Should say that every year, shouldn't he? Santa or the snowman, I'm back. Uh, way hey, it's Christmas time. There's no one like you. Oh, I love that. And then it's that crazy time of year again. It really is a crazy time of year, isn't it? We do do some crazy things at Christmas. Uh, so these are fantastic. They're all good size stamps as well. Now, even this one, for example, oh, do you know what? I didn't even notice. We've got things like stars as additional little itsy stamps there. Itsy bitsy stamps too. But things like this foliage you can use for just wreaths and corners as well. You don't have to go down the fun cartoony route. I'm sure there's elements in here that you can use um for really more contemporary not contemporary traditional style cards now i'm going to bring in the dies next because what usually happens is some of the dies will overlay the stamps and that's what i like to have a look at now i can see i've got the die for the penguin just there i have got the outline die for the santa flying in the plane i've got one here for the reindeer as well we've got stars we've got baubles we've got a really fun uh, frame here as well uh, we've got the word merry christmas snowflakes two different snowflakes different sizes all the little fairy lights there is a lot in here so they've really packed everything into the stamp sheet and the set of dies as well now we also have here i'm going to keep these with the dark so you can see them is some stencils these are going to be good fun and not only are they straight stencils we also have the wavy edges for creating presumably some nice fun snowy backgrounds and this tangle of fairy lights that is every dad's worst nightmare isn't it and maybe mums if you do the fairy lights instead i know my husband gets frustrated and i end up doing it uh, but this is the mess it comes out on every year so that is a really fun I, lo I love that i think that's just absolutely brilliant and that's going to go really well with that sentiment it's that crazy time of year again definitely now let's dig into the papers now did you know any of the papers in the Papercraft Society boxes are all available as free downloads. Now, to be able to download them, you do need to have purchased or subscribed to the Papercraft Society boxes because the link 
uh, and if there's a code, I'm not sure, um, is in the booklet. So, you know, you need to get the boxes. But once you've got the boxes, if you love the papers, you're going to be able to download and print them off time and time again. Look at these. Now, these are amazing. They're matte. There's no glossiness to them. They've got this kind of gorgeous, almost velvety feel about them. They're single-sided. So you've got the white core going all the way through. Beautiful. So now this one, let's bring this a little bit closer. If I get too close, it goes blurry. But can you see the detail in there? We have got so many words. Snowmen, Father Christmas, Gingerbread Man, Christmas Puddings, Robins, Poinsettia, uh, Candy Canes, Cookies, all sorts in there. Absolutely wonderful. Then we've got your, your kind of traditional, but not in traditional Christmas colours, stripes. This can be used any time of year. Then we've got the, we've got the parachuting snowman. We've got the skiing. I'm trying to find the right way up for this. I think it's this way. The skiing penguins, and we've got the Santa in a plane as well. Love that with the background with the snowflakes. Here's those lights. They look a little less tangled. I must admit, they look a little easier to navigate through. What a fun background! Isn't that fantastic? And then we have some toppers as well. These are going to make you super, super quick cards. They all coordinate with the stamps, the papers, the stencils and the dies. Everything works together. But look, they're just going to pop out for you. So you can pop these pieces out. It takes no time at all to create cards. You know, sometimes we just need a really quick card, don't we? So that's what's in the wallet. But what else is left in the box? So let me just pop these aside and bring in the box now. So I love that we have tissue paper too because I always reuse the tissue paper. There we go. Sorry for the rustling, but we need to get in there. Okay, let's just pop the tissue paper to the side so I don't make quite so much noise. Look, this box is printed all the way inside. What beautiful storage is that going to make? Now we have here a number of things, but this is probably the most important. There's our lovely Sam holding her box. And this booklet is jam packed filled with fantastic projects, step by step. I mean, for example, Shape Up. Dimensional makes will certainly stand out with Sam's expert tutorials. So here we've got photos showing you exactly how to make this little, kind of like a treat drawer, a hidden drawer there with everything in the box. We've got an interview with Sam as well, some more beautiful cards. And Sam, of course, hasn't done all the designing in here. We do have other designers who have created cards and projects as well. There's a lot in every one of these. Usually there's around about 16 projects in each booklet. That's a lot to be getting on with. And don't forget, you do also have the Facebook group that you can join. Um, once you've joined it, we do ensure you're a subscriber. Once you've joined it, you can then share your makes and see inspiration from other people. So we also have here some glitter. Now we know Sam loves her glitter card, doesn't she? This is a beautiful no shed silver glitter card. Really good quality. Perfect weight for die cutting as well. It's very fine, so it's not going to, um, like I say, it's not going to shed. It's, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Sometimes the glitter is so big on these that when you die cut, you don't get a nice smooth edge. You will do with these. So you've got two A5 sheets of that. And then we've got coordinating cardstock that's going to work with those papers too. So we have got red, we've got orange, we've got yellow, green, blue. Again, these are going to just work all year round, aren't they? We've got Sam's favourite, hot pink. We've then got a slightly paler pink and we've got a black. Perfect. You can just use those all the time. Now, I've no idea what's in these, but I'm going to find out. I don't know if there's one I should be opening first, but this one I just saw a little peek of started to peek out look at these are beautiful look at these sequins in blues yellows purples greens aren't they amazing i'm sold just with these sequins i love these they are so pretty and they're flat they're not the domed sequins that you get so it's very easy to glue onto your card there's a huge envelope full of those let's see what else is in here i truly really do not know <laughs> 
I really do not know. Something wooden, wooden pegs. There we go, wooden pegs, perfect. These are going to work so well. I mean, imagine having uh, a string pegged across your card with the characters hanging off of it, for example. I mean, the parachute could have got caught up in a washing line or something, good fun like that. Um, and then lastly, what is in this little envelope? Shall we see what's in here? I don't know. Ah, okay, this is really helpful invisible thread so there must be projects within the booklet that uses invisible thread I'm sure and that's just giving it to you so you haven't got to go hunt it out if you use your usual cotton it can work but you know what? when it's this thread like this that's clear it's just going to make your project look even more professional and really good fun like magic people are going to say how did you do that so that's everything that's inside papercraft society box uh, what box number are we on now? I'm not sure. Box number 37. So there's a lot of contents in the box, but if you are thinking about becoming a, a subscriber, you've got all these benefits to look forward to. So subscribers will obviously get the box with the contents that are worth over £60. Now, if you're in the UK, you're going to get your free postage every month. And every month the designers are different. So you're going to have new designers all the time with fantastic new inspiration and ideas. There's exclusive online tutorials every month as well. Uh, we have these in the way of videos on YouTube, but also we have that group that I talked about on Facebook. There are free downloads with each box too. You'll find the details of these inside your project booklet. You can download all sorts, especially the papers, the backing papers. So when you don't want to use them up, don't worry, you can reprint them. You can save over six pounds on every box if you sign up to a 12 month subscription. Uh, and if you are going to sign up to just a six month subscription, you are going to get yourself a free past box as well. So there are benefits to both, both subscriptions there. And you can pause or cancel these subscriptions at any time. Now these are available to customers that are overseas as well. And with all your subscribers, you're going to be getting exclusive offers too. So keep an eye out for that. So if you want to find out more about subscribing to Papercraft Society, you'll need to do that by the 20th of this month or the 20th of September to be able to subscribe to Sam's Box. But after that, you will get the next box on the list, so number 38 onwards. Uh, find out all the details at www.papercraftsociety.co.uk.